Hey everyone, this is what we're going to be creating today. Very fast, very simple, using Canva and using Sketchfab, very quick. Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how ridiculously fast Printcast actually is, okay? We're going to take some pre-existing content that I already made in Canva. So I'm going to go to Printcast, go to studio.worldcast.io and select Printcast. I'm going to call this Tourism 1. I'm going to go Next. I'm going to go Design in Canva. Flyer eight and a half eleven. Now this could be for a digital sign. This could be for a print because it works for you know. This could be a sign box outside of uh, a tourism place. I'm going to go to all my designs. I'm going to select uh, this design here. There we go. I'm going to go export to Printcast. I'm going to add the QR code here in a minute. So right now it's just analyzing an image. It's going to tell me that's it's good to go. I'm going to go create. Before I add any content, I'm quickly going to go save so I can get the QR code. So I'm just going to go save, save and publish. I could have went as draft as well. I'm going to make sure it's on free. Check out. I'm just going to download this uh, QR code. We have the option of going simple as well. We can go uh, style with Rollcast, or we can go simple or the brand one if you have your own portal. In this case, I'm going to go, uh, let's go style, I'll take the Rollcast one. I'll go PNG, it's downloading over here. I'm going to go show in folder. I'm just going to move it over to the side. I'm going to go return to studio. I'm going to go to cast properties. And while I'm in here, I'm actually going to turn shadows off for, for next Saturday. And just, I'm going to add a 3D model. So I'm going to make sure that there's no image. Uh, I don't want a shadow appearing in reality off the print if it doesn't make sense, right? So I'm going to go select a new file. I'm going to go edit on Canva. And I'm simply going to take the QR code that I downloaded and just drag it on top. I'm just going to resize it here. Place it right there. Export to Printcast. This will actually help your print have even more features, right? Uh, in, in, in most cases. So here we can see that we gained another uh, point and uh, a point six actually as well. So I'm going to go update. All right, let's do this part. So I have this MP4 I've already made. I'm just going to simply drag this MP4 over on top. Now I could also go to video over here. Just one second. Let's just proceed. I could also go to video and just browse to where the actual video is. In this case, I just dragged and dropped it. I'm going to resize it to the size of the actual uh, uh, print itself. Okay. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to go play because I want the single port to come in. Perfect. So I'm just going to stop that. I'm going to go uh, image. I'm going to go create button. I'm going to quickly do this. Book now. Uh, let's just give it quick, some quick color color options. Let's grab it on top. It's kind of keeping that zone of what the uh, single port is. Let's go OK. Uh, sure, let's just leave it as is. You know, uh, we can change all the we can change uh, all the elements. We can make more rounded. Uh, buttons if we want okay let's go export as image looks good let's go upload let's just raise it up just make it a little bigger and we'll bring it over here like so let's bring it down let's go to sketchfab Let's go Singapore. Let's go show only animated. I want to grab a flag that I saw. There we go. Import. All right, let's just rotate that up like this. Let's go one more. Let's make it bigger. And let's put it on top of the actual print itself like that. Let's push it back a bit. And we'll just add the uh, link to go book now. In this case, it's going to be our website, worldcast.io. And we'll add some uh, glow to that button. Make it, you know, we'll just leave the glow off. Actually. Let's just turn that off. And that's it. Let's go save.
let's just take another second to save. So let's go back out to this poster. So what in Canva, so I've designed this so I could change this if I want to. I can just drag and drop a, a picture of Toronto in here as an example, and I could change this to the text to Toronto in Canva and then have it just uh, export that with the new video. So every time they scan the poster, so somebody can easily replace that content each time. They can leave all the other content and just replace the end before, right? Let's go back here. So we're simply going to scan this QR code. And we can go preview now. And all we have to do is it, it educates the user to line up with the image that they already scanned. And that's as easy as it is. So if I tap the book now button, it'll go through. So you notice as I talked about on design, how to have that call to action. So in this case, this could be a poster outside of, uh, actually, let me just save this. And we'll just move over to this monitor here. So like I said, this could be a, a, a sign out in front of a, in front of a tourism office. That, they could, that you could, uh, you know, a call to action to let users know scan it to find out the special, weekly special. And that's why we have this call to action over here. This is why we have the call to action says scan for weekly 40% off special, scan here to see your secret destination. And we also have the phone number in case they, the user needs the phone and has let them know there's a YouTube channel as well. And I just talked about the uh, template I made in Canva itself. So you can import your designs directly into Printcast through the Canva integration uh, with Sketchfab as well. And you can also go to external to get a couple extra effects like uh, exporting the MP4 uh, as well. So that when we hit play, we get this uh, extra design. And that's as easy as it is. So as always, I can't wait to see what you create.